All right, what's going on, Fishaholics? Wow, it's been uh, some time since uh, I last made a video. So today, this video, we're gonna try and break that trend. We're just gonna get out, fish around Montauk. I really don't have a plan on what we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna jump in the car, we're gonna hit the surf, or uh, maybe we'll, throw, we'll launch the kayak, maybe we'll go out in the boat, but uh, we're gonna get something done. And uh, I apologize, I haven't been uploading a lot of videos. You know, I've been working a lot. I work on the Ada K, which is a charter boat out here in Montauk. And uh, today I actually was supposed to have work, but uh, it got canceled. You know, I woke up at 5 a.m., went down to the boat, had breakfast, was ready to go, and then uh, the trip got canceled. So uh, with that being said, I came back home, I passed out, just woke up, and uh, we're gonna jump in the car. And uh, I'm gonna stop blabbering on, and uh, let's get creative. And of course, catch some fish. All right, so it is like unbelievably beautiful today. Almost too perfect because I can't even find parking in the lot. So we're gonna have to park up the street at some restaurant and then we'll walk to the water. It's probably like 85 degrees, there's little wind. You know, we're in the beginning of August. We're definitely in like the summer doldrums. Uh, not the best time to really go out and try and catch fish, but we're gonna give it a shot. Probably go fluking. Uh, you know, stripers from the surf right now is more of like a dusk, early morning, uh, dark, you know, nighttime bite kind of thing. We could catch fish in the kayak later. We could launch at dusk and do that. But I've been talking with my buddy Mike, who he has a small boat we were thinking about getting out to Block Island. So that's another option we could do before the end of the day, hopefully. But for now, in the middle of the day, we're just gonna see if we can whack some fluke. Look at this, this lot is wide open right now. Perfect parking. Let's go get some fish. Oh yeah, that water feels amazing. It's like a perfect temperature right now. We might actually have to jump in if we're not catching fish. But uh, we're going to start off with just a little pink and white Broad Street Bucktail. Link's down in the description if you guys want to check them out. There's a lot of small bait around, so thinking small, throwing small stuff is going to hopefully help us uh, connect with some fish. Oh, just had a bite. There he is. Fish on. What do we got? Oh, it's a doormat. Oh gosh, it's a doormat. Look at that one. <laughs> We got one, freaking uh, 10 incher. Pro probably not even 10 inches, but <laughs> we got one. Hey, well, you know what? It's better than catching nothing. You know what? This water is feeling nice. We're gonna take a little dip real quick and then uh, we'll go back to fishing Let's see if we can get any more fish here and if we can't then we'll, we'll pack it up and uh, go to a completely different spot now what we're gonna do I think is we're gonna switch off that little bucktail and uh, JH tackle sent me some of these nice uh, looking little like squid type uh, curly tail uh, soft plastic baits from trendsetter jigs and we're gonna try casting that around for a little bit if we don't get anything here on those or anything else then we'll you know move to another spot most likely and just keep bouncing around till we you know at least put a decent little catch together today so let's, uh, let's try out these interesting little baits all right so this looks like a nice little bait looks like a little squid but there's no scent to the bait so I'm just gonna put on some of this uh, liquid mayhem shad scent <laughs> on a squid bait whatever we're just gonna put it on there it'll give it some flavor and I've been using this stuff pretty much all season you know for fluke fishing I've been putting it on all my non scented soft plastics and I don't use Berkeley gulp that much so it's always good to have it on you to scent up uh, you know plastics without any scent Got some deadly action. Looks really good. The water clarity today is like insane. 
looks like it's at least uh, you know seven eight foot visibility you can see straight down to the bottom there's a guy out there he's fluking or he was fluking in like the swimming area <laughs> oh my gosh this commercial fluker trying to get those 14 inch commercial size fluke what's up mike uh, just finished my lunch your lunch i'm finishing my lunch i got the end like sitting here okay are we uh going a block or what Oh, you are? All right. I'm at the inlet. I can meet you at your boat in like 30 minutes. All right. So that was kind of a failed attempt. You know, I was kind of waiting to hear from Mike, which he called me. And we're going to get on the boat. We're going to fly over to Block Island, try and catch some stripers. It's, you know, really calm seas today. So we should be able to get over there in like 30 minutes, which will be pretty sweet. And we'll probably fish in the dusk and hopefully catch some fish. So let's, uh, let's head over to the boat. All right, I think we're just about ready to cast off. We're just waiting for Mike to uh, get to the boat. And uh, what I'm bringing is I'm bringing a light tackle, you know, spinning rod for jigging, you know, small plastics, small bucktails in case we want to do a little bit of sea bassing, you know, if the bass bite isn't really good. But I'm hoping that the tide will be right, everything will kind of line up, and we'll be able to maybe troll some tubes. These are my twisty tubes that I make, and this is like my light tackle. Uh, kayak trolling rod, so we'll use that hopefully for some big bass. And then we also got the diamond jigging rod, which would be pretty cool. Yesterday, uh, I caught like two 30 pounders diamond jigging on the big boat. Mike, you ready to go? Lack of excitement there. All right, but let's hit it. Start. <laughs> I'm gonna start letting a tube out and we're gonna start trolling. Try and find some fish. That would be fish right there? Could be. See how see how the screen is going haywire? Look, it's going 40 to 20. This might be all fish right here. No, this is all another mountain of fish right here. See the screen, the screen doesn't can't even read the bottom. There's so many fish right here. We're gonna troll right through them. We're definitely gonna get a bite if we don't have any weed or anything. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. It's all, it's all fish. Fish on. Fish on. Is it a neutral? Yeah. Oh, it's a heavy fish. Yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, it's a giant blue fish. Is it? Yeah. But that's what that mountain of fish was. Probably a mix of bass and blues. Because we saw that other boat get a, a bass. Nah, I got him. It's not a bad one right there. All right, see you later, Gator. Down she goes. Woo! All right, you want to try trolling still, or? I think if we keep doing it, eventually we'll. Uh, you know, get some bass. You can get the next fish. Come on, fish. Hit the tube. Come on. You should be dropping down right now. Fish on. Here, you can reel it in. Your fish. I'm gonna drop the diamond jig down. I'm gonna try and get them on this. It's like a mountain of fish down there. I would, re don't pull so much, just reel. Or that's you, yeah. You can you can, you should be able to crank that fish right up. Yeah. Oh yeah. There he is. Fish on. On the diamond jig. Oh yeah, that's a bass. That's a good bass. Woo! Yeah, boy. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. 
I can't move this fish. Oh my gosh. This might be a, like a 35 plus pound bass on the diamond jig. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. We're gonna have to net this girl here. There we go. Let me get him in the hatch. Yeah, put him in the hatch, that'll calm him down. Oh gosh. Yeah, man. Where is he? He's going straight back down. Oh yeah. I gotta get over there. Oh, he choked the diamond shit. Yeah! Yeah, boy! That might be a 40. That's a big freaking bass on the diamond jig. Oh, be careful. Woo! That's a tank right there. All right, you got the boga grip? Yeah. Put them on the boga. It's hard on the boat, but he's bouncing between 44 and 40, right? Yeah, it's like 42, 43. Ha <laughs> ha! like that. 40 plus pounder on the diamond jig. It's freaking awesome. All right, down she goes. There you go, Rich. Woo! Nice, good job. <laughs> what? Joe, yeah, boy. Here, here. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> Oh, there he is. Crushed it, man. You're on? I'm on. It's a small one. There he is. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to top a 40 pounder already. <laughs> so I'll take a giant blue. That's a little bigger than the one I got on the troll. The one that you got on the troll that you reeled in, that was definitely the biggest blue so far. All right, guys, let's try this big bucktail. Change it up a little bit. Uh, well, you, you, so I said yes, big bass and blues. I didn't send the pick, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm in. Right under the boat. On the bucktail. Probably a big bluefish. Yeah, I see it. Actually, this might be a small bass. Well, you gotta have to reel up then. Yeah. Shit, I got a fish on. Oh, it just fucking popped off on the way up. Oh, bass. big bass on the bucktail. No? I'm in. I'll okay. get him. I'll get him with my hands. I'm in. Yeah, reel him up. I know. I heard you. <laughs> How many times you got to tell me you got to fish on? So near you. No. This is another fish. Your, yours came off. It's probably, there's, there's blues down there, you know? You need the net or no? 
I'll get him. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'm the bucktail. On the four ounce bucktail. Look at that. Solid fish. Woo! Straight down. All right, guys, we're uh, back in Montauk. Decent little outing there. Caught some nice fish. You know, we beat the heat. Fished uh, for the most part of the day. Um, you know, it was slow in Montauk when we tried uh, fluke fishing. So definitely uh, getting over to block made the day. And uh, finally I made a, another video for you guys. And uh, you know, I feel like this um, season out here, I've just had a little bit of like, uh, you know, YouTuber block or uh, kind of like writer's block. I, I've been, you know, working a lot, so that hasn't helped. But I just feel like I've been running out of, you know, new and interesting ways um, or things to do to make new videos for you guys and, you know, keep you intrigued, keep you guessing, you know, what I'm going to be uploading next. So, um, you know, I'm going to ask for your guys' help. Like, you know, I would love to hear from you guys. Post a comment on, you know, what type of videos you guys, guys would like to see in the future for my channel and where you'd like to see me kind of focus on more of or would you like me to just do as much spontaneous stuff as possible, then uh, I'll try and do that. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I can keep this ball rolling. Pump out some more videos for you guys. Never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.